Hello there! Bini Bini Milipinas is just three weeks away from now and I'm very very excited to find out who will represent the Philippines to the next Miss Universe. There are a lot of strong candidates this year. It is unparalleled. Paralleled. <laughs> when it comes to the quantity of candidates who could push the Philippines to a 10-year winning streak. Yeah, if the Philippine representatives of Miss Universe would make it to the top 15, then it would be 10 years since 2010. And I really wish that it would be a complete 10-year win for the Philippines. Yeah, having, you know, being included in the top 15 is already a triumph. It is already a victory. So that's one thing that I'm really praying for, for the Philippines to penetrate the top 15. And then, bahala na. Bahala na siya. <laughs> we have a lot of favorites. I myself have uh, more than 10. And from those 10 Robato favorites, I have at least 3 to 5 names who could be our best bet for the Miss Universe pageant. That's one thing interesting there. From among this plenty of gorgeous girls, no one really stands out. Yeah, for me. I mean, I favor Patricia McDonald a lot. She has been my top favorite from the very beginning. Although I really don't know anything about her. When I first had my hot picks, you know, for... What was that? I think for the best uh, in official portrait, if I'm not mistaken. And then gradually I, I learned to know her more because I have been researching a lot about candidates. It's a must for me to know the candidates. Although I just don't have you know enough time to know all of them or to know everything about them as much as I want to because believe it or not, I have I have work here aside from vlogging and uh, it's really quite difficult for me to to make uh, daily videos about pageants. Now, we have a very special segment today. It is special because I was able to talk to one of the front runners. <laughs> it was unexpected. I have uh, a close friend who has connections with this girl. Actually, I told him yesterday that, well, you know that girl, so I really wish to interview her. A few questions, you no, know, three or four questions, or if she's not available, if she doesn't have time for that, then just simple greeting, you know, for about the views viewers. And surprise of all surprises, my MacBook was ringing. Sumisigaw ang aking Facebook Messenger, patanggapin ko ang isang tawag. <laughs> From that close friend of mine, there was never an idea that he already had this front runner with him. <laughs> so I was not really that prepared. Although I am prepared all the time, I, I think it was uh, it was not as perfect as I as I wish it to be. My interview could have turned better had I listed down my questions for her. But you know, anduna hindi ko pwedeng palampasin yung opportunity na makausap mo o makapanayam ang isa sa mga most popular candidates ng binibining Pilipinas for this year. So wag na nating patagalin, ladies and gentlemen. A short interview with Gazini Ganados. Here we go. Okay, so Gazini, uh, first question is: What are the preparations that you make for your uh, for the competition? My preparation would be my physical appearance. I've been exercising a lot, and then I've been putting into mind to concentrate on my Q and A also. All right. You have yeah, this. I need I need my communication skills to improve. Yes, you have this Venezuelan aura, darling. <laughs> Do you think uh, having this Latino uh, peg would uh, give you an advantage? Uh, again, what do you sorry. Think? <laughs> Having this kind of Latino touch in your beauty, in your peg, do you think it is an advantage? Uh, having that? this touch of Latino, I, I'm actually Polispanian, uh, so oh. I think it towards <laughs> my appearance. So. <laughs> All right. So, what is your? Um, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> what is your best asset? What is my your best, best asset? asset yes. Would be my eyes. Yes. Really? Really? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> it's uh, hypnotizing, mesmerizing everyone. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> believes that you are so sexy to win the Miss Universe crown or the Bini 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 Miss Universe crown. <laughs> and you and you really Sorry. are. You really are sexy. Thank you. I've been working hard for it. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is your biggest competitor? Among all the candidates, of course, you also have some favorites. My biggest competitor would be myself. Wow. If I don't conquer my shyness <laughs> or my fever at the stage or my fear in the camera, I don't think I would ever achieve something greater than Miss Universe. Are you also friends with some of the candidates and who are they? Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> no, Hello Gazzini, you are one of the most hyped candidates this year. Talagang kao ay popular. Marami actually nag-request sa akin before because during my very first uh, vlog about Binibining Pilipinas 2019, I really didn't notice you. Sorry to say that because maybe I was too preoccupied with a lot of things. But lately, you were really blooming. You were really, you know, one of the standouts to conquer the Binibining Pilipinas stage. And uh, I really think that you have a great chance in winning one of the six crowns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really do. Do you aspire to win a specific crown? I am aiming for Miss Universe right now. Yeah, of course. But to whatever crown will be given to me, I will fully accept it. Because it's just so bad. Um. I have read that you have had some, uh, uh, you, you have joined some competitions before. What are those competitions? Uh, some of those competitions are, my first pageant would be Miss World Philippines 2000. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember that. Yes. 14, mm -hmm. and after that I've joined um, an inter-school pageant, and then a couple of, um, pageant in my in my hometown with this Bohol. You're really pretty Gazzini. You're really beautiful. Thank you. From this view. Oh my god. And I think that's just light no makeup yet. Am I right? Thank you. Thank oh my you. gosh. Alright that's why yeah that's why a lot of people are you know are very much in love with you. You know the, the pageant aficionados they really they really Always, they always mention your name to be one of the strongest candidates for the Bini Bini Bilibina's coronation night. And uh, uh, are you in a relationship with anybody or you're single or what? <laughs> I have a relationship with someone. My yeah. first boyfriend. Okay. What are you doing? When you, enter, when you enter this pageant, are you already working or studying or what? I just graduated last October, and then I was supposed to join next year. Yes. But then I figured out it's just to stall my dreams of having a crown. So I just grabbed the opportunity and joined this year. Since it's yes the I, last year of like the six crowns being together. I think you're only what you're right five seven five eight five eight. All right, so I think that's enough already. A, a lot of beauty queens are. Also 5'8", right? Yes. Yeah, what, what's the height of Pia Words about? Do you know? I think it's 5'8", five, 5'9", five, as well. Yes. Yeah. How ready are you, Gazzini? How ready are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there. Wow. <laughs> I'm still getting there. I'm so excited. I, I'm really very eager to see you winning one of the crowns, Gazzini. I, it, during my last, in my last video, I included you in my top six. Wow, thank you. I appreciate that. But it all goes down to the finals night. Everything yeah, of goes course. Down to the yeah, we, we don't know what four. will happen. Now. We don't know what will happen, really. So, any what what are the uh, uh, 
upcoming activities that you would be having as part of the Bini Bini Filipinas? Uh, that would be Jag Fashion Show this coming uh, May 29. All right. And so, what? National costume. National costume. Okay. So, what is your national costume? It would, it would be, um, it is inspired through Lissi Nunuluk Festival in our town, in my province, Cebu City. And also, it represents the oldest street in the Philippines, which is Colon. Mm -hmm. With its colors, it actually signifies the unity of the people in my town. Okay, so for pageant analysts like me, and for pageant aficionados in general, we're always looking forward to seeing the uh, preliminary competition because the nakisimula yung mga ano namin, yung mga pagpili, yung mga top six, top six, top five, top five. Ah, uh, kailan na preliminary competition, Gazini? Hindi pa sinasabi. Oh, hindi pa ba? <laughs> okay, Gazini, I know that you have been training a lot. So, siguro medyo pagod ka rin. Kaya dapat bigyan ng rest ng sarili mo. So, any message para sa iyong mga taga-suporta? Like, you're gonna, are you gonna post this one? <laughs> Kasi, hindi, ko, hindi ako prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Pareho lang tayo. It's mutual. <laughs> okay, so, any message for your supporters or fans? <laughs> The message for my supporters would be I appreciate all your effort in getting to really know me and I love you all. Thank you so much for all your support and it's very overwhelming. I really feel it and I hope to make you all proud, especially myself. <laughs> so yeah, this is all for you. Thank okay, Gazini, thank you very much for this opportunity to talk to you and I really wish you, you good luck and I hope that you win one of the six crowns. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay, Max, no. thank you very much for this Bye -bye. opportunity. <laughs> okay, so thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you, Max. Although naging mapagbigay sa atin si Gazini Ganados, kahit hindi siya masyadong prepared, kahit biglaan, kahit hindi siya nakapag-ayos talaga, she gave her full time para mag give in sa ating request to interview her and I really appreciate it but it won't stop me from giving my you know constructive criticism it's what you know Roboto Views is all about you know wala nang pa keme keme pa it's uh, you know straightforward views but hindi na napapaligoy-ligoy pa kaya let's give na our overall you know impression of Gazini with regards to her answer to the question, who is your biggest competitor? She went safe and it's quite understandable because in pageants, being safe is better. If you get too open, for example, about this, uh, are you in favor of transgenders to be included in the Miss Universe pageant or to be allowed to join Miss Universe pageant? If you, you know, speak negatively about it, you will be bashed. If you favor it, you would also be bashed by some sectors. So being safe is part and parcel of joining pageants. You don't want to create conflicts. You wouldn't want to offend anybody's feelings. So you would go as safe as that. But not all judges would like it. If I were a judge, and that is her answer, I, I wouldn't really favor it. I wouldn't give high points for that kind of answer. I want someone who would, you know, who went to a competition like that to immerse herself or to put herself into a battle because this is a battle you need to earn points you need to get high marks for your performances you have to beat other candidates you have to stand out and be the you know the center of attention not only of the judges but of everyone in the coliseum or, or in the venue and i want someone who would really show some angas you know mm. there is you know another way to be safe and at the same time answer it directly you know there is strong conviction there is a you know you really good give your strong stance on something without offending anyone like for example well i consider patricia mctano uh, samantha bernardo samantha low because they have this one qualities and everything and they really and i really like it i really think that they have to be given at the same time as yeah, they're really strong and they're really showing their best and everything and and then 
you may add some phrase like this to name a few. You see, it means that there are still a lot of girls out there who would give a good fight during the finals and strong contenders to the crown, you know. So you have given a strong answer and at the same time, it doesn't sound bad. It doesn't sound negative. It doesn't, it wouldn't offend anyone, I think. You know, so I would go for someone who has a strong will when it comes to uh, answering questions in pageants as big as Binibini Filipinas. But once again, her answer was correct. It was right. It's just that maybe I'm looking for some, you know, matapang na sagot na buo yung loob habang pinapahatid niya ito. Sort of that. <laughs> for sure, okay lang to kay Miss Gazini Ganados because I have seen this couts sa kanyang Facebook account. O, di ba? So, banat lang tayo ng banat. <laughs> the Rubatu way. I am not, you know, I'm not really a, a fan of Gazini. I find her beautiful. When I said in our interview that she was so pretty, she was so beautiful, it was true. She's got this Venezuelan peg. You know, yung tipong ang ganda ng skin, hindi mapute, hindi morena. Yung mayor yan ang mga representatives. Tapos parang, you know, yung welcome tour, yung kanyang ilong, yung kanyang itsura, yung kanyang kilay and everything. Ang ganda ng ganda ng ngipin. Medyo malaki yung bibig pag tumatawa na siya. Ganda-ganda ng mata. Alam mo yun, yung may Latina aura. Asian Latina. And, and yet, I'm not yet really satisfied with the way she presents herself. I don't like the smile. I'm very open about it. It's a little pigil. Yung tatawa ka na rin lang, itumawa ka. Yung, yung sort of that. Yung, yung sabi ko ano isang araw sa isang video ko, yung tipong ano, Miss Universe smile. Yung tipong... <laughs> Yung ganon. So maybe hindi pala niya inilalabas. Pero, alam mo yun, walang problema sa mata ay tumatawa na yung mata niya. But I think it should be complimented by a grin. You know, by a full smile. And then, you know, konting lang di pa. I think bagay sa kanya yung medyo aggressive. Yeah, kagaya ni Miss Gutierrez ang Venezuela last year. Yung tipong ganong aura. Tipong pa-sweet na mukha talaga siyang edukada and at the same time, tipong, you know, oozing with sex appeal. Ganon kasi yung peg niya eh, ni, ni Gazzini Canados. You know, there is a Venezuelan bombshellness. <laughs> you know, if there is a term like that. Yun lang, yung ano, yung konting angas, kumbaga. Tapos, the hair. I have seen her photos na nakapusod lang yung buhok, nakalugay lang siya, and she looks better in those photos. May hawig siya actually kay, you know, kay Tamarin Green. At may hawig din siya sa buhok na... Full, yung buhagad, kay Mexico's representative, Miss Universe 2016. Silva. Crystal Silva, I think. Yun, so if you're gonna choose an image na pwede mong gamitin, total, may hawi ka dun sa isa, may hawi ka dun sa isa, then who would you choose? Kay Tamarine Green ka na. Kasi bagay talaga sa kanya. It's not because of Tamarine Green herself, but, you know, yung, yung image ni Tamarine Green sa kanyang hair, Total magkahawig sila, yun ang bagay sa kanya. Anyway, Tamarine Green did not win. So, pwedeng ganun yung aura niya for this year in case siya yung mapili to represent the Philippines sa Miss Universe pageant. Whatever, kung saan ba siya represent I like her that way. Yung pusot-pusot lang, yung bagsak-bagsak lang ng hair. Wala masyadong kemen. Kasi she would look just one of those girls kapag yung wavy hair ang kanyang ginamit. That's for me. Although it doesn't diminish the fact na kahit anong buhok ang isuot niya or gamitin niya, is maganda pa rin siya. Ayun. So that's all I can say. Aside from konting training pa ng kanyang paglalakad. As what I've been re reiterating sa mga contestants, banatan nyo na, banatan yung pagrampa ninyo as you, you know, as you walk along the runway. Pero pagdating do sa front stage, Take your time. Yung change, change, change agad. <laughs> Nalilito na yung judges, hindi ka na nila, ano, makita ng buo sa yung kagandahan. So I think, you know, dapat may control. And I think she needs a little control. Because the beauty is there, the beauty of the face is there. Yun na lang. Hanapin nila yung tamang hair na ba. If they don't like my idea na mas bagay sa kanya yung ganong hair lang, then humanap sila na isang buhok na babagay sa kanya. Na mag-iiba siya. Because dahil marami nga, marami magagaling, marami magaganda. So, 
You have to find a way to be noticed. Eh, kung pagpupunta namin yung buhok mo, why, why not? Diba? Hindi po kami peres. Why not? Mali mo bumagay sa'yo. Diba? So, that's, that's just, you know, a constructive criticism. Kasi gusto ko rin siyang manalo. Ayun, so, Gazini Ganados, thank you very much sa iyong pagbibigay paulak sa aking kahiling na ma-interview ka. And, uh, I wish you good luck. Kaya, pukpuk pa more. <laughs> This is your friend Abato Say, Arigato Gusaymas, and please wait for my kuda on the national costume and the Jack Jeans fashion show. Wala pa ko niyan. See you then.